Now, today I want us to move uh, forward. So today's class, like I've told you, we are going to look at probability space. Probability space. Probability space. Which is also sometimes called sample space. And sometimes it's also called possibility space. So this is also called possibility space. So apart from uh, probability space, we are also going to look at what we call theoretical probability. Theoretical probability. Theoretical probability. So I want us to start straight away with what we call probability space. I want us to start with what we call probability space. Probability space. Now, uh, like I've just mentioned, probability space is also called a sample space and is also called possibility space. Now, it normally refers to the number of total possible outcomes. For example, if a coin is tossed once, tossed once, then the number of possible outcomes in this place will be either head or tail. Now, when I write H in case of a coin, we are going to be using this severally. This means a head and T means a tail. So it, uh, the possible outcomes here is either head or tail. Now, this head or tail, this is the total number of outcomes we expect. These are the possible outcomes we expect. These outcomes is what we are referring to as a sample space. That is what we are calling a sample space. Let us look at a situation where two coins, so that was the first situation, two coins, Two coins are tossed. Two coins are tossed one after the other. After the other. So when two coins are tossed one after the other, what you expect is that the first coin can give you a head and the second coin gives you a tail. Or the first coin can give you a tail and the second coin gives you a head. Or the first coin can give you a tail and the second coin still gives you a tail. Or the first coin can give you a head and the second coin also give you a head. So in this situation, these are the possible outcomes we can get when two coins are tossed one after the other. So... This also forms what we call a sample space. So the total possible outcomes that you are likely to get when an event takes place. Let us look at a third scenario. Let us look at a third scenario. A die is cast. A die is cast. Now, when a die is cast, a die normally has six faces and each face is marked with dots. For example, one face is marked with one dot, the other face is marked with two, the third one is marked with three, the fourth one is marked with four dots, the fifth one is marked with five dots, and the sixth one is marked with six dots. So in that case, when a die is cast, then it means that what we are going to get, we are going to get a face with one dot, or a face with two dots, or another one with three dots, or another one with four dots, or one with five dots, or another one with six dots. Now, these are the possible outcomes. And in this case, this is what we are calling the sample space, sample space, or what we also call the probability space. So when you're talking of probability space, basically, this is what you are doing when you're talking of probability uh, space.